goes, I think. Maybe. No. Maybe not. I'm not sure if I'm live or not. This is saying I'm live, but I don't think I'm live because I go to my channel. There we go. I am live now. All right. So, that was fun. I'm not sure what that was all about. But I'm finally live. And uh, it only took about 20 minutes to go live using a computer or a tablet. Oh, YouTube needs to get this. But, you know, YouTube don't like me at this, so. <clears throat> we can finally leave here now. It's cloudy. Probably rain before I get there. Get dark, whatever. Because, you know, we got to fight with YouTube for an hour to go live. Uh, but, anyways, I want to kind of do a small product review before I do a full one. Live stream for you guys. Now some of you know where I, I uh, what's this? Okay, that's just, I'm going to flip this so I don't lose the page. Oh, oh, did I lose you guys? Probably did. Thanks, truck. I gotta see if I'm still alive now. Because, you know, this truck switched on, so it moved my screen. Um, now, YouTube. I don't. Something's wrong with them. Looks like I have a life. Let's see here. I'm getting the spinny circle. Spinny, spinny. Okay. So we're alive. Um, I'm backwards compared to what I should be doing. Whatever. Let's, uh, not sure how to reduce my video quality. Anyways, I've got live chat there, but I can't see it, so. <clears throat> but, uh, okay, we're back. So, as some of you know, I bought a new hoe. Uh, it's a wheel hoe. Well, this is the Haas wheel hoe manual, which is shown for the regular cheap wheel. I've got right there. It's like a $400 wheel hoe. I think it's three seventy nine, and then plus attachments cost me over five hundred bucks, and I needed some more attachments. This thing has like um, <clears throat> and it's supposed to be pretty. Easy. You guys know my knees are chopped, so I need something easy. I need to be able to weed. I can't really bend down to do a whole lot. Of Without me in serious pain. In fact, yesterday I came home and I was in serious pain uh, <clears throat> from doing some tilling and some wheel. But before I even got to the wheel, I was already in pain. So, anyways, I got this thing and I wanted to get it at Christmas time. 
and uh, I mean, I wanted it to have it last year, but you know, that didn't happen. And I didn't want to get it Christmas time, but I really didn't make a difference. <clears throat> they offer like a hundred percent money back guarantee, they say, but then when you click on things. You find out no, they charge you like a fee. You get it. It's gonna be unopened, <clears throat> and it's super expensive to ship it back, right? It's just ridiculous. People are saying like it's half the cost or something, eighty bucks or somebody else said like half the cost or something. <clears throat> but from what I could see, it's supposed to be really good heavy duty and <clears throat> so forth. Very expensive. And uh, I wanted to wait so to test it out. Except for we had such a lot of weather, I could have probably just got it at Christmas and test it out because the ground wasn't frozen. And uh, well, I was confused which ones to get because they got the double, or I mean, they got the rubber. They got the double, which is what I wanted because my my mobility issues. <laughs> and then they got the high arch double. The double and the single can be converted from one to another. Um, and that allows some drip tape. Well, I got the double, and it says it doesn't allow the drip tape, and it doesn't allow um, a drip tape attachment, and uh, what was the other thing? Oh, a uh, little cultivator this uh, It says it doesn't. Because all the rest of the attachments supposedly fit. I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's because it's got a plate. And I, I don't know. That's what they said. Well, I'm reading through, and uh, for the double hole, high arch double hole deal, which is supposed to be a kit, which is supposed to be a deal, right? You're supposed to get some extra or cheaper, get a, you know, something, right? Because you're getting a deal. And it was 519. Comes with the four cultivating teeth. And it comes with the plow set. And it comes with the oscillating, the, what is it, the six inch oscillating tools, two of them, right? Versus their one without the deal, which is it's 379.99. The deal was 519.99. And, uh, but that only came with the four cultivator teeth, right? Well, I'm looking on their site. They got the plows. You can get them individually. Why you would do that, I have no idea. They're like 40 bucks each. $39.99 or something. Or you get the plow set. I think it's 60 bucks, $59.99. And then, uh, well, the oscillating things. And uh, I can't remember how much those were. Those are kind of pricey. And, uh, but anyways, you add it up, and it was cheaper. Like, okay, I'm sorry. Let, let me put this. Uh, I think if you, I thought before when I added up, it was still cheaper. Not much, but a little bit cheaper. But then you, so these oscillating hose, right? There's also an attachment they can get is uh, an extender bar or whatever to use to them out from. So, okay, the oscillating tools were like, I can't remember, a certain price. But then you get the the break or bonus bar set. It's like a extension bar or whatever. But you, that's like 20 bucks. But you get a set with two oscillating holes, right? And it was like, I can't remember, 69 99 maybe or something. I could have the prices back up. One was 59 99 one was 69 $69.99, I believe. Anyways, so I'm, I'm like, huh. I'm like, okay, so all this, you know, if I bought the hoe separate, that comes with the culture bader teeth, and then I bought the oscillating hose with the breaker bar, or with not breaker bar, extension bar, and the plow set separately, then it was like five oh nine ninety seven. So it was cheaper to buy them separate. 
And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense. I started looking at, around on the site and like, what, so what does, like, how can it be cheaper when the other ones call a deal? Like, what am I missing here? What am I not getting? So I end up contacting them and uh, got a hold of them on the phone. And I asked her, like, you know, what's the difference? Well, it would have cost you, like, five forty nine or five. I don't know, some crazy number if I bought them separate. But she said that kit won't fit it. The um, bonus bar kit, attachment kit, right? And I'm like, okay, well. So she was very confusing on the phone. But she said that bonus bar kit wouldn't fit it. Wouldn't work with it. That came with the two oscillating holes and the bonus bar. And uh, and so the whole thing would cost me more to buy it separately. And I'm like, so I started looking for it. Where I'm like, it says it fits. Because this bonus bar kit says it's these bonus, this bonus bar, or this extension bar. And these oscillating holes. Well, if these all fit, why doesn't this? And so what if the bonus bar, or if the extension bar doesn't fit, if it's the same oscillating holes and stuff, I can get it cheaper anyways. I'd rather pay cheaper and have that one part that don't need or whatever don't fit. Fine, I'm still getting all the same stuff I need, but it's cheaper. But, so I emailed them. And again, they tried to like give me the runaround, and I emailed them back, and I'm like, "Do these fit?" Well, yeah. If you need the bonus bar, or if you need the extension bar for like such and such situation, using different attachments and shit. So it's like, well, why would I spend more not to have that bar now? Then spend, or why would I spend more not to have it now when I can spend less? Have it now. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So I'm like, you know what? I don't trust what they're telling me. And I said, fuck it. Or the whole separate. And it comes with the four cultivator teeth. Originally, they told me it wouldn't fit. Twice. And, uh, so, yeah, I saved some money, got the items I needed at the time for, like, $10 less, but, um, yeah, it, it just, like, 49 or something like that. It's like, what? I'm like, straight from their website and everything, and... They lied. They like felt lie. I don't know. <clears throat> Seem like they're gonna fit. Like it's the same bolts and what the deal is. Back the the plow set. It's got one carriage bolt that goes through, right? And at the bottom, it's it's got that like press fitted into something that stays put, right? And this is the carriage bolt for it. Why that's there, why that's like that, I have no idea, because the other side you stick a carriage bolt through. And, um, why they do that, I don't know. Is it so it doesn't move? But then you're tearing up your plow But then you're gonna tear it up with the attachments you used to then. Like it just doesn't make any sense. So you stick it on there, but the like, <clears throat> like that grooving, it even sticks it this far. So like you've got to press it into that metal. <clears throat> even the carriage bolts, you've got to press it in. So you're tearing off the power coating off of that thing. Well, no wonder they don't warranty the finish. Because they know when you put on your attachments, you're going to destroy it. 
not to mention there was some chips and stuff like I'm paying extra for this power coating and like sections where there's where apparently is where you want the powder coating right it's not gonna get chipped up from regular use is actually chipped off so like I'm sorry but I paid a premium for a premium tool why is the quality for shit <clears throat> and why are they lying to me about shit to get any more like this manual this manual it's only a few pages and for all of them, just basically how to put it together how to attach the thing but it's not even very clear on that yeah it's a colorful gloss thing. well they're charging you five bucks for that if you buy that separate they sell it separate five bucks I'm not gonna keep the phone number around in case I might need to order a manual I'm gonna go online to look it up if I'm keeping the phone man or phone number around chances are I probably got the manual but I'm not gonna need after the first time you put this thing together but they're literally trying to charge you five bucks for that manual why not just put it in pdf format like we did not spend enough on this thing 520 bucks well 510 for me because i'm a little smarter than, than them like apparently <clears throat> so anyways they tried to sell you the success kit to you right for 30 bucks what's in the success kit it's linseed oil, a file, a nine, cheap 9 wrench, and some scraping sponges or something, I guess, to help keep your blade sharp, maybe to keep the rust off. Okay, 30 bucks. It's not like it's a good wrench or anything. <clears throat> In fact, the Lindsay oil, I don't even know how good that is. Because, like, it was, I found that Lindsay oil for 740 something at, like, one of the hardware stores. Unfortunately, the one I went to, they didn't have that size in stock, so I went with a bigger one, which is still, like, 13 something. A wrench, most people have wrenches. Like buy, probably buying a $500 cultivator hole probably has a wrench or two around, right? And more than likely, they at least got a 916 because it's such a common size. And then most people have found, but like you could buy this stuff for a fraction of dollars. And they're calling it a success kit. Uh, no, it's a maintenance kit. And why doesn't a wrench come with it to assemble it to begin with? Why are you not, like, finishing the handles at the factory? You're, like, I'm not buying, like, you know, uh, what is it, like, quarter-inch thick metal and shit? No, they don't finish the handles. Of course, you got to put it together. No big deal there. I can understand that. Um, handles aren't finished. Um, doesn't come with the, like a wrench or the tools. Like, you buy anything, even cheap shit, it comes with tools you need. Right? So you needed, uh, what was it, like, I think two or three wrenches. I think a 9 sixteenths, half inch, and a 7 sixteenths. And then you needed a uh, 3 16th Allen head. Uh, but really, I could have got away with a socket and ratchet. I wish I'd known that when I was putting it together. I should have just grabbed one, but everything's a freaking mess at my parents. And uh, I'm like, fuck it. it. It hurts me getting up and down these stairs. 
so I grabbed those. And, uh, but yeah, it was just like ridiculous. These, so it's like, so I put this together and then, uh, well, it says to use like wood glue when you put, like you got the two handles and then there's a cross piece and you put wood glue and they give you a little screw to screw in there. Well, I screwed it as tight as I felt like it was like without over tightening and stripping the wood. Or rubber mallet. But, um, yeah, it doesn't say to do that. But, and I tried squeezing pretty hard. And, uh, I feel like they're in there as so tight as they get. Tried screwing that down, hoping that would fix it. You know, because it sticks out a little. So it's like they didn't do the holes tight enough or something. I don't know. But, like, handle's gonna be like on an angle, right? But you'd think you'd put that on an angle, drill your hole to match your cross piece. Did they do that? No. So it it moves. It should be nice and sturdy, but it's not. 520 bucks they're trying to sell this for. Or 379 bucks with just the four cultivator teeth. Give me a fucking break, people. Like, talk about over fucking priced. And like, okay, so I'm not 100% satisfied. What am I gonna do, send it back? I'm gonna have to pay for the shipping and handling, and I'm gonna have to pay a restocking fee, even though it says 100% guaranteed, full money guarantee, or you know, like, you can't do that and then charge a fee. You can't say 100% guarantee, you know, full satisfaction guarantee, if you're going to charge a fee, they'll return it. Plus, extraordinary fees, shipping fees. It's only like 39 pounds or something. I'm not... Yeah, it's a little... Ex ridiculous. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do a full review. It looks like it's going to rain all today. But, like, you shouldn't have flex in the handle like that. I don't think any of my other stuff, like wheelbarrow or anything else, has that kind of flex. This does. This flexes. And I've gotten stuff tight. I know how to properly tighten shit. I used to be a mechanic. Used to be an engineer, hands-on technical engineer at GM. Used to be an automotive mechanic. I think I know how to use a small engine mechanic. I think I know how to use tools. Like, I'm literally certified in this shit. And I went to school for this shit, right? An excellent automotive teacher at a high school. I went to the best college over it. I think I know how to use some tools, basic hand tools. So, I don't know. In fact, I have a tendency to over tighten things a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. I mean, more than what you would use with a torque, torque wrench, right? What torque, proper torque would be. But, so I know I've got it tight enough, and I know if I go any tighter with that screw, it's going to fuck things up. I think what they need to do, drill out where you put your screw in, through the handlebar, and just screw, like, that's, I think, so if it's not tight, that would be why.
I don't know. It's too. I'll probably unscrew it and try to bang it together. Or use some straps and hole strap it tight. But, yeah. Because I'm sure that glue didn't hold. There ain't no fucking way in hell. You can see it flexing in. Instantly, that just breaks the bottom of the glue. Not much just cause pr more problems. So, I don't know. It's fucking ridiculous. Do they want you to fill up the gap, maybe? Like, if that's the case, they should have said something. I don't know. Don't know. But I did it the way they said, and yeah, it didn't turn out right. So, yeah, I don't know. It's not very impressive. Anyways, I am back, um, and I'm getting ready to do some gardening. Got to get some seeds planted and stuff. So, I got a package somewhere outside. So. I will catch you guys next time. But yeah, lost tools. <sighs> Over fucking pricing. Real hoes. And they try to gouge you and get as much money as possible out of you. Like five bucks for this and 30 bucks for basically linseed oil. The white bond there. Like they don't even give you a rag to apply it with. I just found a little shirt, cut that up and applied it, but uh, just stupid. Fucking stupid. Like, what would it literally take them to apply that shit there at the factory? Like, they could, they can buy a linseed oil, like, even at the price I paid for it, like, compared to what they're charging, they can eat, they, they could like save a lot of money, buy it in bulk, linseed oil it, pay somebody fifteen. They could pay somebody twenty bucks an hour to do this job. Even if they did freaking one, it'd be less than thirty bucks on my end. You buy their stupid fucking kit because I've already got a wrench and files. Give me a fucking break. But I even priced those out. And yeah, it's just over fucking priced. So I don't know. Anyways, I got stuff we need to get done for the rain and temperature drops and more and everything else. So I will catch you guys next time.